Hello. Sometimes it's not easy to come up with a good sermon, a good reflection from some biblical text. Well, in Luke 10, the story of Martha and Mary, I would say this is one of them. Uh, maybe this is why uh, the lectionary buried this text in July. Um, I don't know. And the problem is not because this story is short, only four verses. It's not really the content of the story, but all the historical baggage that come with it. Basically, the story is Marta that invites Jesus at her home, and while Marta is working and being busy to prepare to, to host Jesus and his entourage, um, Mary, her sister, Martha's sister, sat at Jesus' feet and listened to him. And Martha, after I don't know how long, got, you know, very frustrated and asked Jesus, well, tell my sister to help me. You know, those things do not happen by themselves. And Jesus basically replied to Martha, Mary has taken the better part, leave her alone. And when I talk about baggage, is the historical interpretation of this text that critic um, women who want to be active in the church, uh, they should be what they were saying, and especially men, they should be like Mary. You know, they should be docile and, and learning in silence. You know, the little girl must should be seen, not heard. Well, if they want to be active in the church, well, they, should, they could sit and listen. They could be in devotion and prayer. And you sh if they really want to get involved, they can go and cloister and pray and live in silence and devotion all their life. And you can understand why I struggled with this in 2019. And also being part of a church that is famously associated with social justice, uh, it's a problem because basically we like the Martha's of this world in our churches. Those women who are active, who have some drive, who are busy. Well, maybe this is one of the issue in this text. Being busy is not a problem. Being too busy might be. You know, this busyness has become a cardinal value in a society. We ought to be busy. We cannot, we cannot sit and do nothing. No, we have to do something. We, we have to have long to do a list where we can check things that we do. We need, we need objectives like for the day, for the week, for the year, and five years where you will be. You ought to be always on the move and, and to create more. And when you have more resource, there's always someone that will come. Well, you need to do more with less. And sometimes we're so busy, we're so active, that we lose our focus. We, we forget what is really important in our lives. You surely have met or heard of people that work so hard all their life to accumulate money, title, and everything else. And they reach a point, they, they're rich, they're famous, and they don't know what to do with all of this. You see, Martha welcomed Jesus in her house. And don't get me wrong, hosting is important, and, and it's hard work. But maybe the reason to have a guest in your house is to spend time with your guests. It's maybe as a church, as a disciple of Jesus, we work very hard. We say we want to build a better world. But what's the point 
of building a better world if we cannot enjoy its fruits? What's the point of having all those activities in our churches if we don't have some sense of focus, some sense of mission? I'm not saying that Mary here is better than Martha. It's not like a, a zero-sum game that one has to win for the other, has to lose. and It's an, maybe an invitation of simplify, letting go of what is not truly essential. Focus maybe on less topic, but what is life-giving, what is life-changing moments that will give us the energy to continue our mission. It's a question of balance. Those who are in the rural area knows that sometimes the field produces a lot, and sometimes the field needs to rest. Those who have read the story of creation, we have a God that creates and God that rests on the seventh day. It's a question of balance. It's a question of focus. That story can help us to remember and to apply to our inner lives. Once again, thank you for watching. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.